hello everyone welcome to key to blogging and in this video i will show you how you can add a download timer button in your blogger website so as you can see this is the pop-up download timer button and this is the old download timer button that i have discussed in this video so let's check how you can add a pop-up download timer button like this so whenever someone click on the download button it will start the pop-up download button and it will start counting the seconds so let's wait okay as you can see now the download button is showing and here you can place an ad in this download timer button so let's check how you can do it in your blogger website so for this you have to go to your blogger dashboard and you have to create a new post or you can open an existing blog post then you have to add a html code like this and this is the javascript code and this is the css code so here you can change the value like here you can change the adsense add code and here you can add the data add slot code and here you have to add the link of the download file and here you can change the download text so here you can add the text like download now and here you can place the link so let me just add the link of the old download timer button in this download timer button so let's click on update now let me just refresh this page okay when i click on the download button it will start the download countdown and let's wait for 15 seconds okay now the countdown is completed when i click on the download file button it will redirect to that link that we have set in this position so you can change the link here and you can change the download button text and if you don't want to put this same javascript and css code again and again in blog post then you can simply copy this code from here so let me just cut it from here and let me just update the blog post and I will go to the theme section and I will click on edit H HTML. Now I will scroll down to the bottom and I will add that code just above the closing body tag. And this code will only load in the blog post as we have set the condition. So it will only load in the blog post. And if you want to load it from the page, then you can remove this if condition so let me just save this code okay now let me just go to the blog post and let me just open this post and as you can see the download timer button is still working so in this way you can use the html code in the blog post and use the css and javascript code in the theme editor and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you like this video then hit the like button and do subscribe key to blogging thank you